right, so the basic setup for the fluid painting is you want a papered table. So this is just some kind of craft paper. It's thick, so you don't want just like any old paper. Um, you can also use cardboard or you could put down some newspapers, things like that, but I like to just get a big roll of paper. And then you want something on the floor, maybe a tarp or this is a giant thing of plastic, um, but I'm also in a garage, so it doesn't super matter. But sometimes I am inside and I put a tarp down on the floor. So your basic materials here are you need popsicle sticks, um, you're going to need your paints, so I'm going to use uh, it looks like four different colors here. I have two whites, um, just because one of them is running low, but I have four colors there. And you're going to want Floetrol and something to wipe off with. So if you want to be more environmentally friendly or conserve paper towels, you can just use a rag. Um, this is what I'm using today. I prefer not to waste a bunch of paper towels. Um, and then also, here's my canvas. I'm using a 12 by 12 for this one. And then cups and something to put your canvas on. So you want your canvas to be elevated, so I just put these four little plastic containers on each corner. Or you can use cups. Um, and then I like to have something to sit the painting on. So for instance, here's my canvas and I have these little plastic things that I put my canvas on. So if you don't have the plastic things, you can actually use cups to sit your canvas on. So I'll show you an example of this. So for every color that you use, you want one cup, and then you want one extra cup for the end where you're going to pour all your colors in together. So if you have four colors, here's your four cups and then your extra cup for the end. Um, so this is the basic rundown for your supplies and what you need.